Well, yet another lovely day here at Easy Horse Care Rescue Centre. Field clearing again today <laughs> is a never-ending job, but do you know what? It gives me time to hang about with all of our horses, ponies and donkeys. And yeah, it's actually nice to share the stories with you. Now look at this girl, long, tall Sally. Look at her. That's pretty obvious why I named her that. This old girl, well, what can I say? But what I will say is, look how her coat gleams. Look how well she looks. She was one of 14 horses that we rescued from Coyosa de Segura. They were all chained to walls, absolutely skeletal. Now, obviously we don't know the history of any of them. However, after I had Sally for a while, this lady, uh came to the rescue center and she said she recognized sally uh, she actually said that she had one of sally's sons that this farmer had sally for years and just used to breed with her one after the other one after the other and uh, she had one of sally's sons and obviously Sally was no longer there at this farm. So all we can surmise is he gave Sally away to the person that had Sally and chained her to a wall. This guy dealed in horse meat, illegal horse meat. That would have been her fate. That was what the guy that owned her all those years that put her in full so many times that possibly caused part of the problem with her back. That's what he done to her when she was no longer any good to breed anymore. She's a lovely, lovely old girl and yeah, I love her. I love her. She's a real gentle soul, aren't you Sally? And over here we have Alice, another very, very gentle soul. Now Alice again was came from that same hellhole chained to a wall. Hello Alice. Hello Alice. Now I'm going to try and show you Alice's nose. They don't always like it if you hold the phone up. They get a little bit concerned. But, um, come on, Alice. He's a good girl. Hey, yeah, it's only a phone. Look at her poor nose. Look at that. Look at that poor, poor nose. So that gives you an idea of what she's been through in the past. Um, she's probably had a very very severe bridle on that actually has metal in the nose band to help to control them so that's why she has that scarring on her nose but again a very very gentle soul very very happy to be here again she was absolutely skeletal when she came along with the others and yeah just what can I say? We are so, so happy to give these horses a home here for the rest of the life. These aren't horses that can be ridden. You know, they've all got various problems, which is why they ended up where they did. But as I always say, we don't care that they can't be ridden. We don't care that they're deformed or got problems. We love them just as they are. Don't we, Alice?